Mother Mary gave apparitions to a 14-year-old girl named Bernadette Sauberus. The Virgin Mary appeared 18 times to her from Feb 11 to July 16 in the year 1858. In this video, we are going to see all the apparitions and the history of Our Lady of Lourdes in detail. Lourdes is a town in southwest France in the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains. In the year 1844, a baby girl named Bernadette Sauberus was born. Bernadette's family was very poor and Bernadette suffered from asthma. She didn't have any education. The only education St. Bernadette received was the Catholic teachings, which she studied faithfully. The first apparition was on Feb 11 in the year 1858. At the time of the first apparition, St. Bernadette was 14 years old. After dinner on Thursday, St. Bernadette's mother told her children that there was no more wood in the house for the fire. St. Bernadette and her sister and a neighbor friend went to the river Gave to gather some wood for the fire. And to collect wood, they need to cross a cold-watered river. St. Bernadette's sister and her friend crossed the river, but as we know, St. Bernadette suffered from asthma. So St. Bernadette feared that she would get asthma, so she stopped there. Suddenly, St. Bernadette heard a noise like a sound of storm, but nothing was moving. By hearing the sound, Bernadette looked up towards the grotto and the caves on the river bank. Near the opening of the grotto, St. Bernadette glanced and noticed that the cave was suddenly filled with light, golden light. Lifting up her eyes, she saw a lady of great beauty dressed in a pure white robe with a blue sash, a veil over her head, a rosary clasped in her hands and yellow roses at her feet. And the beautiful lady placed herself at the entrance of the opening above the rose bush. In the words of Saint Bernadette, she has the appearance of a young girl of 16 or 17. She is dressed in a white robe griddled at the waist with a blue sash which flows down all around. The sleeves are long and tight fitting. She wears upon her head a veil which is also white. This veil gives just a glimpse of her hair and then falls down at the back below her waist. Her feet are bare but covered by the last folds of her robe. A yellow rose shines upon each feet. She holds on her right arm a rosary of white beads with a chain of gold shining like the two roses on her feet. By seeing Our Lady, Saint Bernadette took out her rosary and knelt before the Lady. Our Lady also had a rosary with her. When Saint Bernadette tried to begin saying the rosary by making the sign of the cross, her arm was paralyzed. It was only after Mother Mary made the sign of the cross herself Saint Bernadette was able to make the sign of the cross. As Bernadette prayed the rosary, the lady also passed the beads of her rosary between her fingers, but remained silent. When the recitation of the rosary was finished, then Our Lady disappeared. Saint Bernadette told her sister all the extraordinary things that had happened to her at the grotto and also told her to keep it as a secret. Throughout the day, the image of Our Lady remained in St. Bernadette's mind. In the evening at the family prayer, St. Bernadette was troubled and began to cry. When her mother asked her why, St. Bernadette's sister told her everything. Bernadette's mother told her that those were just illusions and she also forbid her from going to the grotto. St. Bernadette could not sleep that night. She was constantly thinking of the lady. Three days later, St. Bernadette's mom allowed St. Bernadette to go to the grotto. The three girls this time took some holy water with them. They took it because the elders said that if the person in the parish is good and holy, then the holy water doesn't harm them. But if it's something evil in nature, 
then the holy water will ward it off. Instead of throwing the holy water, Saint Bernadette poured the water quietly on the floor, and Mother Mary just smiled. On this day, all three girls went first to early mass. Then they went to the grotto. This time, Saint Bernadette carried a candle and a pen and a paper to record anything that might be said by Our Lady. By seeing this, Our Lady said to Bernadette, "There is no need for me to write down what I have to say to you. Will you be so kind as to come here every day for fifteen days?" And Our Lady also said. I do not promise to make you happy in this life but in the next. Saint Bernadette's parents and her aunt accompanied went with her to the grotto along with some neighbors. Shortly after Saint Bernadette began to pray the rosary, everyone noticed that her face was transfigured and illuminated. On the fifth visit, Our Lady taught Bernadette a prayer, which she recited daily for the rest of her life. Saint Bernadette never revealed the prayer to anyone, but Saint Bernadette said that she was told to always bring a candle with her, and this was the reason that even now candles burn perpetually at the grotto. Saint Bernadette's daily visit to the grotto. caused a stir in the countryside so crowds of people began to gather at the grotto on this day our lady told saint bernadette to pray for sinners several people were present on that day including a doctor who was a physician in lourdes he told the crowd that he could find nothing abnormal about saint bernadette's physical condition and he said that her mental condition was trans like Then a meeting was held by the citizens of the town and they expressed concern for the dangers that could accompany gatherings of such large crowds so they persuaded the imperial to officially forbid Bernadette from going to the grotto for this Bernadette responded that she can do that because she had promised the beautiful lady that she would come during a meeting the chief of police deliberately tried to confuse Saint Bernadette to change her account of the apparitions when that attempt failed the police released Saint Bernadette the next day on monday saint bernadette went to the grotto and two policemen saw her and followed her and also the crowd but on that day our lady didn't come so saint bernadette said this time i saw nothing at all then she was allowed by the police to go home